As you saw in one of our earlier videos, these blue cubes can be picked up in Unreal Engine. Not all objects, though, in the, uh, the world here can be grabbed. And that's because the blue cubes have a pickup blueprint uh, at, at work that um, gives them certain characteristics. <clears throat> so let's take a look together at how we can import a new piece of geometry and make it possible to, to um, pick up and handle that geometry in Unreal. So let's go to Thingiverse. Uh, so that's the website, thingiverse.com. And if you search for Yuri Gagarian bust, you'll see this bust. If you scroll down, uh, we want to download the file that is called bust underscore p dot stl. Now, this is a, an actual 3D file uh, um, that uh, it seems like we ought to be able to import it into Unreal Engine. However, notice that it's an STL. And so what we have to do actually to be able to take it into Unreal is turn it into an OBJ file. So if we open up the Mesh Mixer and click on Import and then go to that file that we just downloaded, you'll see we have the, the bust here in the workspace. And if we go now to File, Export, and we'll just call this bust. I've already done this once in practice. so. Uh, we'll call it bust.obj. That's why you see it showing up here already. Uh, yes, we'll save it out as an obj file. And then we'll go into Unreal Engine. And let's go into the content browser and click on content and then click on add new. And we'll add a new folder. We'll call this my stuff. And if we open this folder up, now we have a place that we can import our bust so that we can keep track of where it is. Uh, click on the import button there, click on bust, OBJ, and bring that in. You shouldn't have to change anything here. I think the default settings work pretty well. Okay, and let's take a look at this file. Now, um, what I did was I double clicked down here on the file and that opened up the, uh, the static, mesh, static mesh viewer. And we can zoom in on this by rolling the middle mouse button forward. If we hold Alt in the left mouse button, that lets us orbit around the form. And what I want to check out here is just the uh, collision mesh. And you can see that uh, we have these green lines around the form. That indicates that uh, uh, a collision mesh was generated when the file was imported and that collision mesh will let this thing uh, sort of bounce off of other objects. Um, if if um, on import this didn't come in correctly uh, you might yeah, let, me, let me actually remove the collision. Uh, you might see when you click on simple collision that nothing shows up. Uh, if your object happens to have that problem, what you could do is just come down to the um, uh, convex uh, decomposition panel here and click on apply. And that will actually generate a simple mesh uh, that we can use for collision. And we'll turn that off, click on save, and let's close out the static mesh viewer. Now we need to go into uh, the content browser and go down to virtual reality VP and underneath we'll click on the blue blueprints folder and let's take this BP pickup cube right click on it and create a child blueprint class and basically what this does is it makes a copy of the blueprint that we can edit and let's take this child that we just created and drag it onto our my stuff folder Okay, so we just moved it up there. And let's rename this too so that it's meaningful. Let's call this BP Pickup Bust. Okay, and then double click on the blueprint. And this blueprint has some logic. Uh, oh, actually, uh, the logic is not showing up here because this is just a child. Um, but we can uh, go ahead and change the static mesh anyway. So if you click on the cube here, 
we can swap this to our bust by coming over to the right panel where static mesh is listed and click on that drop down and just type in bust. Select your bust and that's all we need to do. So come up in the top left and click on compile so that we're saving the, uh, the changes that we just made to the file and we'll close that out. And now we can take our BP pickup bust and drag that in. And you'll see it's a bit too small by default, so let's scale that up. I think one works well. Yeah, okay. Um, notice that I have the lock turned on, which scales this up uniformly. I'm going to rotate this some. Now, if uh, when you drag this in, it's not on the surface, you can press the end key on your keyboard to drop it to the tabletop. And let me put on my VR headset now and uh, we'll take a look and see if we can grab it. It works.